You will now hear a statement by the Prime Minister. I am speaking to you from the Cabinet Room at 10 Downing Street. This morning, the British Ambassador in Berlin handed the German government a final note stating that unless we heard from them by 11 o'clock that they were prepared at once to withdraw their troops from Poland, a state of war would exist between us. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, Whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. You can imagine what a bitter blow it is to me that all my long struggle to win peace has failed. Hello and welcome. This cosy social club in Liverpool has more going on here than the acts performing on this stage. It has a ghost who doesn't seem to be shy about putting on a show for the members of the club. This is Walton Social Club and this is Ghost Dimension. The location we are investigating tonight has survived the devastating bomb attacks of World War II and it still stands proud to this very day. The street that the club is on was bombed during the Second World War and it's believed that there were many tragic casualties from the bombing raid. Many people lost their lives during the war including both women and children and some of those casualties would have found themselves here in the safety of the club. This club has been in existence since 1906 but was originally a house dating back to around 1875 which would have had one of its local wealthy ship magnets as its owner. Perhaps someone from that tragic time still comes in visitation searching for a long lost friend or family member and perhaps even just for the entertainment i've had like a few little experiences in here and one was um, when my grandson caught i'd come in to see pat in the morning about half eight because he used to come in out of the stock his bar and that and my grandson frank gave him a pack of the crisp and a glass of orange and he was sitting there and I went to the toilet Then I heard my grandson, Grandad, Grandad and I come out and I said, what's up? He went, that man by the door is going, get out, get out and I went, no, it's Frank, there, Frank behind the bar and he went, I got to look, Frank behind the bar I said, no, not Frank the man by the door is going, get out, get out Before Frank took over here, 
We used to be a fruit machine standing on a crate on there and just finished, no finishing our drinks. About seven or eight of us still left. And that was all in dark. It was like there was only the bar lights on. And next thing there was a big bang. And I got up and walked over there and I went, because it seems to come from there. Went, Nothing there. And when I turned around, the machine was lying in front of the gents' toilet. I said, if it, it's been thrown because it would have fell, it was only fell in front of the ladies' toilet. But it was over there. There has been a man witnessed in various areas of this building and appears to show himself as a ghostly, solid entity. A young boy was once witnessed having a conversation with this man by a couple of relatives and they swear they couldn't see anyone. Yet the boy seemed to be having a very interesting chat with the ghostly man. Is he one of the previous members at this location or someone else? What we need to find out is what his connection is to the club. Well, a building this old, yeah, like nowadays concrete buildings are only designed really to last 50 to 60 years. So this one being 200 years old, you're bound to have creaking in the floorboards, bit of spalling inside the concrete, which means that it's basically expanding and breaking off. That could explain some knock, knocks and bangs when people aren't around. And yeah, so with the age, it's bound to happen. But I suppose there are instances where people have heard something that's, I suppose you could say not really made by the building, but I suppose if you don't have an understanding of it, it could seem a lot more creepier than it actually is. Many locations where people consume alcohol appear to have a ghostly tale or two. But, could all of them be true? With someone who's drunk, you have to take their facts with a pinch of salt. The same things with kids, you have to take them with a pinch of salt because you don't know if you can 100% believe it. If it was a sober adult who gave me, who said, I seen something, I'd be a bit more like, okay, I suppose you need to look into that claim a little bit more. So what's on the bill tonight? Could we see the gentleman that the young boy talked to, or will we capture anything moving? Whatever happens tonight, we hope that the spirits will be sociable towards us and give us a show to remember. Uh, Walton Social Club. Aye. Fantastic looking building. It's very uh, American. Looks very American, do you not reckon? It does, and it also, to me, looks like it wouldn't no, um, look strange in a Harry Potter set. Yeah, it looks like it just came true. straight out of one. That's true. What do you think when you first walked in? When I first walk into this building, you know that it's never been investigated before yeah. by anybody mm. because it screams haunted at you. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. And I feel as you we investigate tonight, in this cosy building, mm. maybe, just maybe, we may come into contact with one of the spirits that's reported to haunt here, these children's spirits, these old spirits. There's all sorts of different types of spirits as well as the ones behind the bar. Yeah, there is, and it's, it's it, you know, it's fantastic. The fact that it's never been uh, investigated before, it opens the floodgates to those spirits coming through. It and does, because we'll open the intrigue. What is it? What's this gadget? Never exactly. seen it before. Well, this road was bombed, wasn't it? Yeah. In World War II. And one, possibly. So those spirits um, that were killed, you know, they could walk in and they could not even know they're dead. Well, that's true because this place was a house before. It was, See, yeah. So you don't know who's been here before. Over the, it's over 100 years old. Yeah. It's history, not just in this location, but the entire area. Exactly. So, you know, I think we're in for a good night. I think we are too. Already I can hear noises coming from over there. Well, let's go and grab so, the equipment. I think we should go and grab the equipment and get on. Let's do it. Come on then. Okay.
Walton Social Club has multiple reported hauntings and no paranormal investigation has ever taken place here. So, would our presence and experiments tonight entice its ghostly residents to make contact? This is a place where lots and lots of people have come since it's been a, a social club. People have come, they've died, not necessarily here, but still maybe wanting to come back to where they've got fond memories. So somebody that died last week could still be coming here. It doesn't have to be way back in history. It could just be, you know, a few days, few weeks, few months ago. And this, they're just coming back to, to where they've enjoyed themselves. With the club never being investigated before, we split onto each level to maximise our chances of capturing something paranormal. Can you affect my equipment over there, on that table? Oh, already noise in here. There is a ticking clock. I think it's there. Uh, yeah, there's a ticking clock somewhere. Oh, there it is. So if you hear tick, 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 that's what it is. It's nothing paranormal. Can you affect my REM pod? Oh, sorry, not my REM pod. My REM pod's over there. Can you affect my K2 meter? Now, apparently, there was a man, and he was called Stan, and he used to sit over here, where the REM pod is, and he passed away. Stan? Are you here? Whoa. What was that? Okay. That came from over here. Did I get the uh, chair wrong? Was it over here? Somewhere around here? Stan the man? Are you there? Right, I've got a load of equipment. I'm going to get this set up first and then I'll get the investigation of this basement um, started. Whoa, what the hell was that? I heard, I literally heard something there. On review of the footage from this documentary, we appear to have caught the following voice which seems to be vocalising itself and asking me to leave. But in a disrespectful manner, and if you're easily offended, please mute your sound now and look away. I'll get the investigation of this basement um, started. I'll get the investigation of this basement um, started. At this point of the investigation, it was unclear who made this disembodied voice, and perhaps our presence had heightened the activity of some of the ghostly spirits residing here. I heard, I literally heard something there. Fucking down here. I'm just gonna put this equipment down on this table just while I check. Hello? Is anybody there? No way. I heard something down here. Okay, so I am in the function room of Walton Social Club in Liverpool and we have a, a few pieces of kit out, there's a REM there and there's a REM over on the stage and an EDI meter and also we've got a voice recorder with me so in a little while we shall try for EVP <coughs> now we've just been given a lot more information and Apparently stuff's happened in here. Somebody's been seen moving around the building, a gentleman. Um, and once upon a time there were a lot of snooker tables in here. And apparently when some guys were playing snooker, one of them was just about to bend down and take the shot and they saw a man sat in a chair 
uh, up here somewhere and he had come out of nowhere and it was enough to freak the guys out and when other people came up to check out who this fellow was he was gone so it's a bit of a mystery as to who he was so we're going to see if we can find out okay must admit uh, this part of the bar has a different feel I don't know if it's because more people have walked through it maybe because when it was a house it was obviously this would have been the Whoa. Our plan appeared to be working, and with every area of the location covered, it was forcing whatever is haunting here out of hiding and straight into our investigation. Maybe because when it was a house, it was obviously this would have been the. Whoa. Whoa. You're bound to have creaking in the floorboards, a bit of spalling inside the concrete, which means like it's basically expanding and breaking off. With Devante believing the noises could be created by the building itself, was what I just heard paranormal or natural? Whatever it was, I couldn't wait to find out more. What the hell was that? There's a noise coming from up there then. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I was saying before, um, you know, if this was when this was a house, it would this would have been like the main living quarters. So whether there's a different feel because it's seen more spirits, it's seen more personalities along the years. You know, it witnessed it's witnessed two two world wars. So there's people potentially coming in that's injured and died in here that, that some pr probably some don't even know that they're passed on and that's what I'm going to be interested to find out tonight I'm going to stand here and I'm going to call out okay can you finish this knock But I'm going to get the equipment locked off. Uh, there's a voice I've heard already. I'm going to get the equipment set up and see if anything happens. I've got REM pods and I've got the ovulus. Uh, the REM pods are here. Um, I'll get these set up right now. I'm going to rest this camera here and while I set these up. I'm going to get this one over here on the floor. So if anything comes through this door, I'm going to get action on the REM pod. It's got its own magnetic field and that'll alarm. I've got another one, which I'm going to put on the uh, stairs, which I will put over here. Let's get the aerial out. If anything comes near through, you know, through, through the uh, stairs or down the stairs, that's going to alarm. I've also got the ovulus and if you, uh, Switch the obelisk on, we'll stick that over here. That can be manipulated by spirits. If anybody is here and wants to communicate with us, they can communicate via the obelisk and manipulate the words onto the screen. I'm going to flick the camera into infrared and start the investigation. Just want to try this, seeing as I've... my voice recorder isn't working. I'm just going to see if. Maybe catch any audio on the, the camera. If there's anybody here at all. And there you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. I just got the chills. Can you step away from that now, please? Oh, God. Wow, I've got seriously bad chills. Really feels electric in here. Can you step away from that, please? It's really good. I'm glad you know how to use it now. But I'd like you to move away from it if you would. OK. 
Okay, just thought I heard somebody behind me. It was becoming clear that there could be something lurking in the shadows at Walton Social Club, and Paul had communication directly with the Rempods. But who or what was starting to make contact with our team? Oh, shine a light. Oh, I just got ice cold down my back then. Oh, it felt like somebody was running. Freezing cold hand down my back. It's absolutely ice. I'm going to move that EDI meter because I'm bloody sure that the temperature is going to be even colder over here. And that REM just stopped for a second. So let's see what we've got going on there. So I've got 59.1 at the moment. Fluctuating. Thank you. Wow, that was very weird. That was really, really weird. It is, it is absolutely Baltic in here. Tell me your name. Affect my equipment. Can you affect this piece of equipment in my hand? It goes green for good and red for bad. The periscope had instantly reacted to my question. However, it wasn't until the edit we could actually hear a female voice that appears to say yes as the light comes on. Can you affect this piece of equipment in my hand? It goes green for good. Can you affect this piece of equipment in my hand? It goes green for good. Perhaps this was one of the regular patrons who frequented this location. Or indeed, could it be one of the many souls who lost their lives during the war and still visits this building to this very day? It's nothing but good. And that's what I like. I like coming into a place and feeling the good. I just need to find out how you passed. Was it a bomb? Yeah. That's yeah, so how I said bomb. There was a clear bang. Are you a female? Okay, is anybody in here that's with me around? Whoa! That sounded like the door here. It's not opening. Maybe it's locked. If, this, if that was you then that just did that noise, can you use your voice to speak through the... Veronica, thank you. I was going to say, speak through this device. Veronica, is your name Veronica? Am I dealing with a Veronica? Although, although, Veronica, although. What are you trying to tell me, Veronica? I've never ever had the word Veronica ever come through the ovulus. So I'm believing that that could be a spirit manipulating this device. Perhaps Veronica was the same spirit Bex was encountering upstairs. It seems to be movement all over this basement. Of things making noises and sounds. I heard like a hmm then. There was a hmm. If that's you that's down here with me making these noises. Make something move in front of the camera, show yourself to me, and give me a sign you are here. Like one of these devices. If your name's Veronica, come forward, Veronica. I now had started to communicate with another spirit who seemed to have died in the war. Was this spirit connected in any way to Veronica? 
Is your name Thomas? Thomas? Or Arthur? The reason why I'm asking Thomas or Arthur was because when I um, found out it was a 16-year-old boy who died in the water, those are the two names that came into my mind. And Paul's always saying, if the, a name comes in the mind, say it. Thomas, Arthur, were you friends? Wow. Okay. Um, can you knock on something as well as this equipment going off? Can you knock? Yes. After three, a massive bang. One, two, three. Bigger. I'm just going to spin the camera around. A bigger bang, guys. I want a bigger bang. Bit more evidence. I'm gonna go back over here. Come on, we want more evidence. We want more bangs. Hello? Thomas? Arthur? Arthur? Yet again, as I feel, I am in direct contact with a spirit entity. As I call him by name, one appears to respond with what I believe is a reply of, hello. Arthur? 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 I believe that Arthur and Veronica could have known each other in life, and it was clear they are still together in the afterlife. All I can say is, it, you, you know, when you're cold, but it's cold to the bone. You're that cold, it, it actually goes down to your bone. So a temperature can be steady and ambient in one place, but you are freezing. That's how it feels at the moment. That is not giving me a justifiable indication of how cold it is right now because that would say it's not that cold at 59.0 to 0.1 when it's absolutely Ooh. I just heard a voice I just heard it sound like somebody was agreeing with me because it was like mm. I hope the audio caught that then. Are you the gentleman that's been seen in this room? If you are, can you set that device off again? If you're the man that's been seen by different people, did you scare a couple of young men off when there were snooker tables in here? Where's the handle? It's not opening that at all. Um, oh my god, there is so much going on here. Audible noises. This is now said squeeze. This is just immense. I wouldn't have expected the amount of responses down here that we've got already. What the hell? Stick that there. That was down there by the beer drop. Can you make that noise again if that was you? Can you tap on one of those things? Maybe they tapped on this, which looks like a, a sink. Can you tap on that sink? Tap on that sink again. Sure I heard it then. Is anybody here? Seems to be. I'm just gonna have to turn my light up. I'm gonna walk over here. There seems to be some sort of something beyond this wall. There's a lot of. Well, I don't know what that is. There's a, there's a tunnel beyond the wall. There's something else beyond this wall. Okay. Maybe. 
Let's find out what that was in a minute. Highway. Hug, it said, and then highway. Whoa! Okay, I just saw that and we just missed it on the camera. Without the handle, I'm telling you, it moved. It moved. That handle moved, man. Okay. That was over there and it moved. Halfway through, and it's not disappointing. The equipment is going off. Yeah, knocks, bangs. Noises. Yep. Things that we can't yet explain. No. Um, no. And I, there's nothing here that should be setting off any of the equipment, um, especially the obvious device. Mm. That shouldn't be going off with these words, and these things seem to be relevant to this location. Yeah, I agree. And also, as we're walking around this location, do you not think it's got a look of the Winchester Mansion? Uh, it has, hasn't it? Hasn't it? From the outside? The outside, yeah. And the inside is, is very much what you would expect to mm. see there. Mm. It's strange. Strange. I've been thinking about that as we were walking around and as I've been investigating different rooms and stuff. It's quite cool. It's, it is quite good. But the investigation side of this place, because we've it sparked the interest of the spirits, they're definitely coming out to check out what we're doing yeah. and to see if there's any way they can interact with our court. Maybe it's because it's the first time this place has ever been investigated and these spirits don't know what this stuff is. Maybe they're not, they don't know they're dead. Maybe and maybe they're. that's the reason that they're checking us out because they're like, hiya, what are you doing? What's, what's the camera doing? And so many spirits have come through here yeah. and travelled around, especially this room. Yeah, they, it's they've quite interesting. It <laughs> and and they, they've passed. I well, believe. apparently that's over there, that's the widow's corner. And then they pass around and they end up in the corner over there. And that's when they know the time's up, basically. <laughs> it's quite funny. Funny little story. Quirky little place, isn't it? It is. Um, with so much to investigate, shall we head back off? Yes, uh, definitely. See? Like it. Let's do it right now. Come on. As the activity appears to be forced out with our presence fully around the building, we split back into lone vigils and attempt to make further contact with the spirits haunting here. So, I have taken upstairs of the social club. Um, I've got a REM on stage, which just before I started filming, and I put it down, went over there to put the other REM out, which I'll show you now. Um, it went off on the stage. The other REM is here. I don't want to get too close because it'll go off. The other room's there. And I also have with me a, well, an ovulus, which I'm just going to put it on. It'll say dictionary mode. And we'll get going. I'm going to spin you around so you can see what, what I can see. What the hell was that? Once again, Within moments of starting the investigation, a clear, audible voice is captured on the camera audio. I'm going to spin you around so you can see what, what I can see. What the hell was that? What I can see. What the hell was that? What I can see. What the hell was that? Was this the voice of someone sobbing from losing a loved one during the war? And would they make even further contact as the night continues? A voice then went like a ghost would it, you'd expect a ghost to do. Was that you? Are you connected to the highway that... What the hell? Hole. The hole in the wall. Can you see that? Let's have a look. She. Is, are you from the hole in the wall and is your name Veronica? Are you in here, Veronica? It's just knackered, isn't it? The door doesn't move. As soon as I went over to that hole in the wall, loud it said. As soon as I went over to the hole in the wall, it all seemed to just like go like mad. Maybe. I'm scratching again. Maybe there was something to connected to that hole in the wall 
that's around here. So <clears throat> now in the main bar area of the social club, it's pitch black in here. Let's give you a little tour of the place. Let's turn this IR on so you can see what's going on. So this is how it looks. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff reported in here, including uh, the sighting of a man in that doorway by a young boy. Somebody seen walking through a wall there. Speakers that have moved from that area all the way over there. So, a lot of different reports down here. So, we've got REMS out, we've got uh, an electroscope, and we've got the GFO. And there goes the REM right on cue. Thank you. Thank you for that. Wow, that was a good start. And that's the doorway where someone has been seen. Bloody hell. OK, I'm going to put the obvious on the table. Put in. Tree. Over here. I'm going to spin you around. Over here. I heard like a beeping noise. If it happens again, I'll uh, communicate. Because. Hello? Sounds like it's behind me on the stage, actually. Hello? <gasps> okay. It's like a whimpering every time. Sent? Are you sending me a message? Is that what you're saying? You're, you're whimpering? You're trying to communicate with me? What's wrong? What happens here? If you can make a okay. If you can make a noise with your mouth wide. Um if you can make a noise like that, you can um maybe sound a word out. Maybe your name. That was a device a REM. Was that you? Did you alarm that device on the stairs? I heard a device go off. Was that you that alarmed that? And I said, moment. This is going mad. I'm telling you, every time I go towards that wall at the bottom, it's not having it. It's not happy. This is like there is somebody for sure, like, unhappy about us being inside of this building. Hello? Oh look, there's more. Moment. I said moments again. There's another basement, but it's, that'll be the uh, building next to it. Is there anybody here? Anybody at all? Can't see where I'm going. Please let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Can you uh, step away from that now, please? Thank you. Paul's REM pods had started to alarm the exact same areas where paranormal activity has been reported previously. And what was even more interesting was that whatever was controlling the REM pod appeared to be intelligent and responded to his questions. Please let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Can you uh, step away from that now, please? Thank you. What was this intelligent spirit attempting to say while communicating to Paul? Are you the gentleman that's been seen? 
moving through walls and standing in doorways telling people to get out are you that same person Everything's reversed. I'll have to spin the, the screen round, but over there by the toilets, I just heard a noise. It's going over. I'm going to put the red light on so I can see where I'm going. Just heard a noise. Showing you there's nobody hiding back there. Tell me your name again. Okay. I have just... I've just heard the name Amber. Climb. I climbed the stairs before, and when I climbed the stairs, I said I was out of breath. Were you listening to me? I did a VT in this room before and I climbed up the stairs and I stood on the stage and I said Oof, I'm out of breath did you hear me say that I climbed the stairs and now I'm out of breath yes it's a really 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 weird place this and it's all gone a bit weird right now a bit freaky and a bit weird not having, I'm not having it. It's like someone wants to come out and go, and get me. No way. There, down there again. If that's you, can you do it one more time for me? I'm here. Can you make a, a noise over there, please? Show yourself if your child come over, I'm not here to harm you. I'm here to make contact. Can you come towards me? Can you move something? Move a chair? Yes. Affect the equipment? Short. Well, not that's just plain rude. I may be short. Can you affect something around me? Affect the REM pod on the stage. There is. Can you affect this REM pod after three? One. You really want me to go. Do you not like women? Is that what you... Oh, it looks like somebody was behind me then. Are you behind me? Now what's really strange is that the ovulus has stopped spitting out words. Something seems to be haunting inside of this location and we believe that there are many untold stories still to tell at Walton Social Club. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. <laughs>